Um, so I'm really about, excited about this show, and we're going to kick it off with someone who is hilarious. She actually filmed our, our, our own promo for, uh, for this month's show. Um, she, has, she runs a trivia night here at Riot Act on Tuesday nights. She also performs at Arlington uh, Draft House. She's super funny and cute. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Miss Ashley Linder. Everyone, big gay hilarious crowd, you. All right, now I know that there's already been a baseline established, but I wasn't here for it, so it doesn't count. Uh, where are my ladies at? Can I get a shrill woo from you? Woo! Yeah, you guys are really good at that. Really good at the shrill woo. Uh, what about my queens, huh? Can I get two snaps in the air and a hey? Hey! How you guys doing? I heard you. I heard you. I saw that wave. Don't you worry. I don't forget about you. It's not all gay men lesbians up here. My father is here tonight. Yeah! Making you proud, Pop! Okay. I can't win them all. Now, I don't share much in common with the modern gay man, but I do share an overwhelming desire to be a strong black woman. And I know y'all will feel me on this one. I invoke my inner Oprah daily. Uh, it really it really helps me get through some challenging situations, you know what I mean? Someone cuts me off on the roadway, it's like, God, little baby Ashley and me goes like, oh man, you know, like days, you made my life tough, but the but the strong black woman within me. Oh hell no, what what you doing? You can't even use a turn signal? What the fuck? Your mother ain't teach you no manners. You know what you are? You rude. You rude? <laughs> Now, now to be fair, that's not really that's not really Oprah that I'm invoking. It's more um, it's more Queen Latifah and set it off. You know what I mean? Like she's she really sassy. Yeah. Uh, can I just say first that it is great of CoverGirl to have both Queen Latifah and Ellen as their spokeswomen. I thought that that was a great thing. Yeah, clap it up. Yeah. Although now that they're hiring a lot of soft butch lesbians, it does beg the question. When is Justin Bieber going to be an easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl? <laughs> we cannot win! The boy cannot win! Like, I don't want to say it because I'm like, oh my god, that's so trite to say that Justin Bieber looks like a lesbian, but every time he gets a haircut, it's just like, what? You look dyke here. You really do. <laughs> oh, you date girls? Neat. Me too. <laughs> Giant lesbian. Hmm. Yeah, I recently uh, came to a, a life-changing epiphany because of my makeup. Um, here, here I thought that the makeup industry was designed to make me feel ugly and inadequate. But nay, my friends, that is not the truth. There are life lessons to be learned in pressed powder. There are. Um, all of my life, I thought that I had the privilege of being both white and blonde. Um, but according to my makeup, I'm neither pale nor white. I'm in fact translucent. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you could tell by all of the freckles or the light literally reflecting off of my skin, uh, but I'm not tan. I'm not. <laughs> no. Um, and that's a cross I have to bear. But, but being translucent actually turned out to be more of a godsend than I thought. Because I went down to the DMV and the moment, the moment I changed my orientation from Caucasian to clear, all the historically black colleges that I applied to instantly got back to me. Yeah. I know. And you know what that means, guys? That's right. Oh, 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 oh. Homecoming at Howard. That's right. We all going, boo-boos. We all going. That's right. I'm allowed to because I'm an alumni. Uh-huh. Not exactly yet. But you know what? Baby stuff. We're getting there. <laughs> oh, me. Yeah. Well, even though I'm not going to historically black colleges, that's not actually a joke. I did apply <laughs> to historically black colleges. I thought it would be fun. You know, I'd make a lot of new friends, maybe join a step team. I don't know, just get wild with it. Um, my mother, however, did not agree. She hid all of the letters before I even had a chance to open them, which was devastating uh, to one freckly Ashley Linder. Um, but that's okay. My mother, she she's interesting. She's a a gem, a, a peach of a lady. She, she, she's got her, okay, she's fucking neurotic as hell. The woman has not left a 30 mile radius. 
radius in her entire life. Bridges, tunnels, they're out of the question. She's not doing them. But she's worldly, you know what I mean? Like, in the way that like Google Earth would make you uh, worldly and learned. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's interesting. Um, I do love her though. Uh, obviously that would be really awkward if I got up on stage and was like, I hate my mother! That's it, that's the show! Venting about my parental problems, because nobody does that on stage. <laughs> No, my mother, my mother is very, um, very lovely, but um, to be honest with you, uh, she, she's what I like to call like a, a, a great American in that um, she, she buys stuff off of TV. Um, she has the as seen on TV trifecta, which is the sweatpants jean, the snuggie, and the shake weight. <laughs> Yes, she is physically fit and looking great. Just lovely. Oh, man. Um, now, I will give her that the sweatpants jeans were a bit more shapely than I thought they would be, and they looked good on her. But what the fuck, America? Why are we buying this shit? They're not sweatpants jeans. They're blue sweatpants, okay? It's not an adorable thing for snuggling. It's a backwards robe. <laughs>